In the present video, we're going to present additional fractal curves developed in ASMA Studio. Specifically, we're going to talk about Cantor's dust, Koch curve, and Minkowski's fractal. Let's get started by looking at the following worksheet. If you take a straight line, like in this case, and remove the middle third, you end up with two segments. If from those, if from those segments you remove the middle thirds, you start getting with a distribution of points, smaller and small. I mean, the smaller points that eventually become what is called Cantor's dust. What we're going to do in the present video is show you how to do something similar called Cantor's, Cantor's comb, which is shown in Lowiter's book, page 17, figure 2.2. The function that produces the comp is given in this frame is going to be available for you to download. There's going to be a SMA Studio worksheet that you can download so you can try it on your own. And this is the figure corresponding to the first level. I'm going to move it over here a little bit to make this a little bit bigger. For the first step, then you get a rectangle instead of a line and then you have removed the middle part of that rectangle in the next level the middle part of the two resulting rectangles is also removed third level we remove the middle part of the next level of rectangles this way we get to level four level five and um, and, and, we, and we can go up to level six, actually. Um, I have developed level six right here. At level four, you can see one, two, three, four, five, six levels. I mean, that's uh, level five, six levels, because we started with a solid here, the solid bottom. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, corresponding to six. And so that's uh, how you get to produce this so-called um, Cantor's comb. There is self-similarity in the sense that the middle part of being removed, at, we get to smaller and smaller scales. So it is a fractal object that we are producing right here. The second example is Koch curve, Koch or Koch fractal. This uh, the the program is presented in page 28, figure 3.1 of the Lowetter book, and it's given by this function. Or it's calculated using this function. And so basically the idea here is that you have a straight line and then you remove the middle part and add these two segments to produce the, uh, the contour of a triangle. And then for the remaining straight line, you now add also another triangle in the middle part. And then in the next level for those segments, you add another triangle. And for those segments, you add even more triangles and this produces this uh, so-called Koch fractal. The idea of Koch fractal is related to the idea of measuring the coastline of an island or of a continent. It turns out that depending on the scale of the map that you use, the length is different because you capture more details in a smaller scales. And so the idea here is that in every level of the fractal, you start getting more and more details and the curve becomes longer. This is just level four. Next, we have the Minkowski's fractal. I'm going to use this here so we can see the entire um, the the entire program in one screen. The Minkowski fractal, uh, similar to the idea of the Koch curve, instead of triangle, we have now divided the segment into four parts and added like a step up in the second uh, quart, quarter and a step down in the third quarter returning to the original horizontal line so now what we're going to do is repeat the pattern at a smaller scale in this segment and in this segment and in this segment and in this segment and what you get is this a more complex longer curve when you go to level three it gets uh, quite complicated and it's all based on this simple pattern there is a self-similarity, there's, there's similar shapes at different scales. And the, the farther you go into uh, increasing the level, the more complicated it gets. 
but it also taxes the memory resources in your computer because you're required to hold more and more coordinates for those um, points to, to form the curve. And so this is the case for MINK4, level 4. You can see a lot of detail in there. And this is just a, uh, a picture I took of the screen, a screenshot. And you can see the detail of that curve, how much meandering there is in the, at, at the lower level. But there is this, the, the cell similarity that the shape is repeated at, every, at different scales. And with that, um, I want to just go over again the Koch curve uh, and presenting self similarity and the Cantor come presenting self similarity, this whole fractal object that I wanted to present for this, for this particular video.